All new at six, what do hipsters and the homeless have to do with each other? Maybe not much, but a hip Miami neighborhood may end up helping the city's homeless population in a very substantial way. CBS4's Gary Nelson explains how. When would a cacophony of color, art galleries, sidewalk cafes, tourist buses rolling through? This area north of downtown Miami just a few years ago was a blighted, crime-ridden poverty pit. But look at it now, a must-see spot for visitors like this couple from Texas. This is the first time that we're visiting Miami, and I thought that we had to come and see. I mean, we don't have anything like this in Houston. Like the Wynwood Walls, an increasingly famous piece of outdoor art, with fame has come fortune. Yeah, it's crazy. Reverend Ron Brummett of the Miami Rescue Mission is talking about the crazy rise in Wynwood property values. So the mission is looking to sell about a block and a half of its property, including a shelter for abused women and children, two thrift stores, and the headquarters building. Because of all the hype and the interest and the development in Linwood area, these properties are gold. The mission expects to fetch at least $22 million for land that a few years ago was dirt cheap. It's caused confusion for some, like Bernard St. Louis, who makes spending money working for tips at the mission thrift stores. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with all that. I don't know. Shay Jones, a regular thrift store shopper, dreads the thought of losing it. Well, I think it'll be a shame because I really like coming down here finding great deals and they have things for prices that you wouldn't find in other places. Brummett says not to worry. The shelter for women and children, the thrift stores, the HQ will be relocated, hopefully no more than about 15 blocks away. I could be out, I could have a better facilities, better housing, uh, we could have a better thrift store, and our thrift store is not just to make money, it's to train people, it's actually for a part of a work training program. He says wind falls and wind wood are signs of good times and of the goodness of God. The 350 bed shelter for homeless men is not for sale, kind of. Directors say if someone makes them a crazy offer, they won't refuse. In Wynwood, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.